Joe Theismann, number seven, is the new king of the hill at Carlisle. He's the signal caller, the number one quarterback. Billy Kilmer is gone, no more looking over Joe's confident shoulder. And is the former Notre Dame star glad? Oh, Bruce, I don't think it's, uh, you know, you can't hide the fact that it's a lot easier not having, you know, Billy around. Uh, any other quarterback probably didn't, you know, matter as much as uh, Billy's presence. But uh, I think more importantly, the fact that I know the system much better. Joe Walton has a definite philosophy that he wants us to pursue on offense. I had a pretty good idea what it was last year, but I didn't really have a, a, a sound idea of what was necessary to make this football team work on, offensively. I feel very comfortable from my own standpoint. Uh, I, I feel very relaxed. It's the most relaxed I've been in nine years of professional football. Uh, I broke my leg my second year in pro ball in Canada, and then I played out my option my third. And the six years here has been a very uncomfortable situation, probably more so last year than anyone before. But this year, it's, uh, it's been like heaven on earth for me. It's just been fun. I think everybody feels that way including Kim McQuilkin, the number two quarterback this year. A veteran from Atlanta and promoted from his clipboard-carrying job of last year, McQuilkin says he gets along real well with Joe, but he wants to be number one just as bad. There's a lot of improvement to be done on my part, but right now things have been going well, and uh, like I said, I'm looking forward to the up-and-coming up games. How do you and Joe get along? We get along just fine. Just as well, Joe's got the job for now, and the ultimate optimist only looks on the bright side. See, the only thing that matters right now is not the politics and the garbage about who likes who or who does what. The most important thing, and it's the general trend of this football team, is that we stay together and play together.